Well, as if this weekend's home and home series between Bemidji State and North Dakota wasn't big enough, there's a little something extra added to this year's game. Zach Driscoll has been the Beavers goaltender the past three seasons, but with the NCAA allowing an extra year of eligibility due to all student athletes due to COVID-19, Driscoll transferred in the offseason using his final year of eligibility with the Fighting Hawks. Last year for the Beavers, Driscoll ranked third nationally with 696 saves, and he was a third team all WCHA goaltender. Being that he spent three seasons at BSU, the Beavers should know how to attack Driscoll, and Driscoll will know what to expect from the Beavers. Ironically, Friday night won't be the first time BSU will reintroduce themselves with Driscoll as the Beavers went to Green Forks for an exhibition match two weekends ago. I'm glad we got that out of the way, to be honest with you. I think that was, I'm sure, you know, Brad feels the same way from their end. And, uh, but it would look weird right away. I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know even like the second period. I just, you know, I didn't even know he was playing the second period. I just thought he was going to play the first. And then it was like probably about two or three shifts into the second period, he was still playing. So I, I, I that's how much, that's how little I was paying attention is what I'm getting at. Because obviously he knows what our releases look like and all that type of stuff, but we know what, where to shoot on him kind of thing. But we just, you know, we don't really think about that. We're just focused on doing our best and trying to get in the puck uh, behind him. Driscoll and UND make their return to the Sanford Center Friday at 7.07. Should be a good one. The Beavers are ranked 20th in the country. The Fighting Hawks, 7th. Well, the BSU women's hockey team, they got a reunion of their own this weekend when they traveled to Ohio State. The Beavers will be facing off against their leading point score from last season, Claire DeGeorge, who transferred to the Buckeyes in the offseason. Just like with the men facing Driscoll, it'll be weird and different for the Beavers going up against DeGeorge, to say the least, but that should go away once the puck is dropped. It'll be kind of weird, to be honest, you know, to, to see her in a, in a different uh, sweater, a different number, but... You know, once puck drops, it none of that'll matter. You know, it's just gonna, it's just, we just gotta go, uh, going about playing our game. And yeah, you know, that'll be fun. Um, obviously, she was in my class, and so we're all still super close with her, and we're really happy for her and her opportunity there at Ohio. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun to just kind of go up against her, and also just to see her. The George and Ohio State are ranked second in the country. The Beavers will drop the puck with the Buckeyes on Friday at 501. Pretty ironic that both the men's yeah. and women's team are facing off, but you know what the transfer portal and NCAA mm -hmm. allowing you know just to be able to transfer and not have to sit out a year. You're going right. to see more of that probably this sure. year. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.